Well, I'm sure you all know the news by now that once again we are going into a national lockdown later this week. And it's a particular disappointment that we've been told that our places of worship have to close, at least for collective worship. Our churches can still remain open for private prayer each day, and that's what we will do here. So from Thursday onwards, our church will be open between 11 and 12 each morning for private prayer and visits, but the rhythm of prayer will continue as it did in the previous lockdown. So each day there will be mass offered at the usual time, live streamed, and each evening there'll be an hour of exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, including the praying of the Holy Rosary between 6 and 7 p.m. And we'll offer this praying of the Rosary each evening for the intentions of our parish, especially the temporal and the spiritual needs of our parish at this time, for an end to the pandemic. But also, as this is the month of November, we'll offer this for the Holy Souls in Purgatory. Now, many people do not have internet connection and there'll be a lot of people who won't feel very connected at this time as a result of that. So if you know someone who doesn't have internet connection, you might like to keep them abreast of things that are going on in the parish by informing them, by maybe bringing them information, printing off the newsletter for them, everything that will help them to keep in contact. This new lockdown will last a month and it will take us into the first week of Advent. And as we go through these weeks now, the last weeks of the liturgical year, it's good for us to remember that things have their place in God's plan, that we have to see everything in the light of eternity, that we think in these weeks especially about the final things, about death, judgment, heaven and hell. But above all, as we approach the season of Advent, we pray that we may live in great hope, in great trust of God. And that hope is that eventually we will come through this, that there'll be a new springtime and that we will emerge stronger and more faithful. But above all, in these weeks now ahead, united in prayer, united and supporting each other in whatever way we can, in fraternal love, in fraternal charity. Remember that I'm here for you. I'm praying for you all each day and I remain available for you if I can help you in any way. So please don't hesitate to contact me either by email or by telephone. But above all, try to connect each day in some way with the prayer of the parish through the live streaming. God bless you and through the intercession of our Blessed Lady, keep you in his love.